2-2. Ground ball over to third. Tough pick. Throw over from Overby is in time for out number one in this ninth inning. Tough play from Overby. That was Good a throw. Very, that was a very tough play. A one-hop pick by Overbeek. And then Stone over there has to dig it out on the short hop. You'll see it here. Doesn't get all the way behind this one, but Stone able to reach and grab that one. I'll send up the top of the order for one last attempt here. Getzman comes back up. He's grounded out, struck out swinging, walked twice. He came around to score in the seventh. First pitch he sees from Dice is a called strike. I mean, over Rubik has had a lot of great plays. Yes, he has. He's had a lot of great plays over at third today, a lot of close plays as well. Did get charged with one error earlier in the game. Oh, one catches the outside corner for a called strike. And Getzman trails in the count. 0-2. Oh, 0-2 two. Oh, two home outside for a ball. Well, that's a waste pitch there by Dice, just trying to get Getzman to chase at something, get a cheap strike out yeah. there. 1-2, fouled off to the right side, and we'll do it again. Heads up. Come back down. Oh, almost caught by the fan down there in the front row. She was too busy staying under her blanket. I mean, as it's chilled off. 1-2, again outside the count, runs to two balls and two strikes. It has chilled off, but again, you look at the flagpoles out there in left center field, no wind. Yeah, it's absolutely been gorgeous the last five innings of this game. 2-2 two -two is called a ball again on the outside corner for the Nebraska fans. Didn't agree with that. The dugout didn't like it either. And the count is now full to Matt Getzman. Getzman fouls it off, stays alive. Three balls and two strikes. We get to do it again. That curveball spinning at a rate of 3,320 RPM. We have a mini stack cast off to our left. Great, great thanks to whoever's using that in the next booth over. 3-2, ground ball picked by Overbeek at third. Throw over in time, two away. What a pick at third base by Overbeek. Well, if you thought the last play was impressive, just talk about that one. You'll see it here in a replay in just a second. Josh Overbeek, I mean... That pitch is not hit soft. And just the ability to grab it from the side and spear it and then throw across, what a play. Grant Summers comes up with two outs, and Nebraska fans sure hope he's the last batter that comes up to bat. First pitch is called a ball. Summers did the designated hitting today. He struck out twice, was hit by a pitch once. Noah Grice is on deck. 1-0 called the strike. Count it is even at 1-1. One and one. Summers also grounded out in the sixth inning. Grice not much better, single double. 1-1 one one called the strike again, and now the count is 1-2. and two. And a few Nebraska fans either arise to their feet or start clapping. This is it if you're a Nebraska fan. Casey Dice, the 1-2 home, fouled off into the netting. Spoils that we do it again. A yeah, little spoiler there to the Nebraska party that would ensue with a win. Wrap up another win as well and continue their hot streak. The one-two home. Ground ball back to Dice. He will jog over to first, flip it over, and the ball game is over. Nebraska wins it 11-5. A one-two-three inning for Casey Dice to wrap this thing up. And Nebraska with yet another win continues their hot streak. They have won four straight ball games. And Nebraska on a win streak now four straight. And Nebraska now six and one here at Haymarket Park with four more left to go before they have to hit the road again. It's a great time to be a Husker fan if you are coming to these games. And their hope of playing a regional here in Lincoln continues to grow as Nebraska continues to win here at home. We mentioned you need to beat the teams that are, in essence, below you 